Hello and welcome to Sport This Morning. I'm Cecilia Omogwe. And I am Tayo Sala. Merry Christmas to all of you that Merry enjoy Christmas the holidays. Indeed. All right, and of course, there's someone who's enjoying a perfect holiday and a perfect start to the Nigeria Professional Football League. I'm talking about Finidi George. He's won his first, his second game at Aimba when Aimba defeated Rangers by a lone goal. Oriental Derby, it all went to Aimba. Two derbies at the beginning of the season, yeah. and Aimba, they won both. Yeah, indeed, a fantastic result for the people's elephant prevailing over the flying antelopes in that Oriental Derby. Also on the show, still talking football after draws against Everton and Wolves, Chelsea. Okay, we'll get to Chelsea shortly, but before then, <laughs> Manchester City uh, survived the major scare against Leicester in a Boxing Day thriller. 4-0 up, then it went to 4-3 and uh, was getting really nervy uh, for Manchester City fans. Uh, but somehow they found a way uh, to prevail 6-3. Boxing Day thriller, Cecilia. Nine goals. And the beauty about it is that Kelechi Enacho was at the peak of the action. Indeed. Because he got a goal, sending a message to all uh, waiting for AFCON to start. Yes, he still got it. We'll be waiting for something like this. He got two assists and also got a goal in that game. Unfortunately for Leicester City, yes, Chelsea, the one tire was eager to talk about. Lukaku is back scoring again. Of mm. course, Chelsea are back to winning ways. Their first win in three games. Mm. And of course, coming from a goal down, Rhys James scoring an own goal before they came back to be able to get that win against West Ham. 3-1 in ended and Jogi as usual got two penalties. Yeah, Chelsea <laughs> had to win this game at Villa Park. Uh, fantastic uh, victory for uh, Chelsea inspired by their returning striker Romelu Lukaku. One goal, one assist uh, in that victory for Chelsea. And uh, that enables uh, Chelsea to stay in touch with Manchester City in the Premier League title race. Just a six points difference between those two sides now. I said just. Just. Like it, like it's just like of course it's Do you not understand just. the teams that Chelsea are obviously <laughs> yeah. going to face in January. There's know, Man City, there's course. Liverpool, mm. all in January. So they need that win right now. They needed the win on uh, uh, on Boxing Day yeah. for them to at least a springboard for them to continue winning. We'll talk about the EPL much much later. But Definitely. this morning we're starting with the countdown to the Nations Cup because it is just 13 days. That's when you use the word just 13 days to the. Africa Cup of Nations in Cameroon 2021 mm -hmm. and 2022. Yeah. 13 days to go. And we'll be looking at two teams uh, basically today. And of course, you know, the Supreme Goods list is also out. It came out on Christmas Day while we're enjoying our rice and everything. Suddenly we saw the list. Okay, 28 man list. The final list came out. So they didn't need to trim anything down. But first, we're starting with our teams. Uh, Equatorial Guinea and, of course, Sierra Leone are the two teams we'll be looking at this morning. We'll just take a look at their record at AFCON, what the teams have done, their nickname, and, of course, their best record at uh, the Nations Cup. So we're starting up with uh, Equatorial Guinea, who are also called Nzalang National. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You're smiling. Yeah. Yes, there you have them. And, of course, Equatorial Guinea is ranked 114th in the world. Also, they featured three times at the competition, and their best outing was a fourth place, and that was in 2015. Another team is Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone also called, of course, the Lone Stars. Remember what they did to the Suregos when they came to Benin City. That game was well, just something that you never forget in a hurry. Mm. They ranked 108th in the world, and Sierra Leone has featured three times at the competition, so they're yet to win. They're just one of those a teams I will say you can say are filling up the numbers. But we will not be doing all the talking alone this morning. From this segment, Oyen Wuchi Wanchuku is joining us, Deputy Editor of Sports and Life. He's joining us this morning. Talk about this. And of course, the Super Eagles list. No surprise in that list. Yes, no surprise at all because all the players we've been talking about, they are all there. Except, yes, he had someone that he didn't expect to be there, but he was able to make it into the list and that's what we'll be revealing soon. Hey Uchi, good morning. It's good to have you join us. Good morning, Cecilia. Good morning, Taya. Compliment of the season. We share the uh, same. I hope you are enjoying a terrific uh, Yuletide celebration. <laughs> mm, yeah, <laughs> work, well. Right? I know, yeah, I well. know you are at work, I know, yeah. but that, that, that <laughs> like is yeah. The show has to go on. <laughs> you got to, <laughs> to go on. And I'm, I'm actually on leave. Okay. 
Oh, oh lucky you. <laughs> All right. You see of it. Yeah. Anyways, guys, um, so, yeah, let's dive straight into it. The list. Now, the list. I mean, we, we, we were waiting for this list. So we finally saw it. Were you surprised yeah. by the names you saw? Well, not to surprise Cecilia and Tyron. Um, I think the reality is that um, there is no perfect list. Even if you include um, <laughs> <laughs> Nema and Messi, some people will still complain. So my, my, own, my own opinion to every list is to always look at continuity, which Augustine Aguavon did. Um, I think 80 or 90 percent of the squad he retained. The same, most of the, the, the cross of the, the players yeah. that um, Genetro used to qualify for the Nations Cup during the um, World Cup qualifiers were retained. You know, he, he brought in uh, some new players like Olisanda, who plays mm -hmm. for Lando Pirates, mm -hmm. and uh, Kelechi Nwakali. A lot of people, for and against, have made a um, very strong case for Nwakali. Yes. Um, you know, hinging their argument on the fact that we lack creativity in the midfield. And some of um, his critics say he's slow. So, mm -hmm. so let's see. Let's see what this player is able to do. The All onus right. is now on him to prove whether he deserves a call-up to the national team or not. For Lissanda, I think when you look at um, what has happened in the national team, yeah. especially in the central defense of, free, of recent, you, are, you also agree that we need some form of competition for the usual, I mean the regulars yeah. in that position. Leon Balogun... And where William Trusekong have you know held forth for for a while, but okay. I think um, in, in in the last two three games there have been some issues and been some crack. Yeah, maybe so. Uh, so, so you need so somebody. Do you think only size is a solution no, it to those cracks? You see, it doesn't matter if he's playing. I followed his career. Okay, yeah, it doesn't okay. matter if he's playing yeah. in South Africa. Uh -huh. You know, when we won the Nations Cup in 2013, um, uh, Babona yes. was playing for Sunshine Stars of Akure. Mm -hmm. Uh, we had Kenneth Romero too, mm -hmm. who was not really an established player at that time. At but that they were able to hold their own yeah. against you know, players like Didier Drogba when we played Cote d'Ivoire. So I really, don't, um, I really don't think a player should be judged um, based, on, the, where ba based on where he's playing. This oh. is the, this is the no, national no, no, no. team. Oh, another thing is that no, of course, you've got to look at where he's playing. Only Sam Gawad, when he was playing at Aqua United, yes. we saw him, he yes. was fantastic, he yes. was yes. regular. I mean, I've only can't... seen his game at Orlando Pirates. I don't know how many games he has played. Yeah. So that's the question. Yeah, I've, I've seen some of his games. Okay. And, and, and I've followed what the, the, his coach at Orlando Pirates have said. Quite impressive. They are very, very impressed with Olisander. So I think... Yeah, I think he's, he's highly rated. Yeah, very, very highly yeah, rated. So I, I think he, sh he should come and give Steve a position. Sometimes players are complacent when they realize that they... Is they that the issue with yeah. our central defense partnership? Well, when you Ekong look... and Balogun. Yeah, 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 I think when you look at um, Leon Balogun fleet, he has been on and off um, the Rangers squad because of injury and loss of form. Um... For, for, for True Second 2, mm. he has made some blunders yeah. in the Premier League. So maybe some, something is wrong with the two of them. So we need, <laughs> we need somebody. Yeah. If we can't get it in mainstream Europe, okay. it doesn't matter if we get so, it in South Africa. So, so talking so, about okay. mainstream Europe, uh, someone yeah. that is uh, missing on this list is uh, Kevin Aboguma, right? Yeah. Or what, what do you think has happened there? This is someone who's been a part of the squad uh, in the last uh, few lists. Really? Yeah, yeah but, uh, well, it was How many games did they play? Yeah, yeah, the, 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 he's always the, been invited. The argument I have against Akpogoma is, is the argument I used to have against Chidozi Awasiem. But Awasiem proved, proved somebody like me wrong. Okay. You know, he was, when he started coming to the national team, Raw was inviting him, but he was not using him. Yeah. So I asked some questions. Why are you inviting a player? and you're not using him. But when we had some issues, this guy he stepped, up. stepped up. You know, in, in, this, in the right back, he did so well. Even when you put him in the in central uh, defense position, he did well. So for Akwaguma, Ra has invited him several, but he's not using him. Mm -hmm. So why do you need to waste money? If, if you don't find him very useful, why are you inviting him? And I think this is Africa. Whether you like it or not, it's not, we are going to play against Sudan. Mm -hmm. These are a highly physical side. Most of their players are in Sudan. You see that El, El Hilal yeah. or uh, El Merik, mm -hmm. and they are physical, they are strong. 
So we need players. Some, sometimes you need to have a mixture of players who are playing in Africa, playing for top clubs. And South African League is not that bad. No, it's it's not. playing regularly. Yeah. So we need a mixture of <coughs> players in Europe and some of the players that can okay. you know, come to the party when it comes to the physical aspect of the game. Cecilia, surely the viewers, I imagine, yeah, usually me. when the list is out, the viewers have a lot to Obviously say. They yeah, so we've got to bring it. them in. We have to bring them in too. You can talk to us, use our feedback mechanism this morning, talk to us on uh, through our email, of course. Yeah. We're still waiting for what the president can do concerning the Twitter, which is really the big word for everyone. So mm. talk to us on our handle, Spot this morning, Spot this morning our channels, TV. Dot com. Send us an email and, of course, we'll read uh, your mails and also hear your thoughts. There's so many names right here. I mean, the, the, what you talked about, we have four goalkeepers. Now, you have opportunity of having 28 players mm. in AFCON, you know, five, um, make five changes and all. So your governor has duly utilized this. They didn't have to come up with 30 man list. Or 33. Yeah, where's the time down. for that? So there's That's no time for yeah. that. So he went straight to it. And if you look at all the goalkeepers, now we have... Francis was always irregular. John Noble, I mean, who has always recently has been irregular, but he has never had the opportunity, you know, to really. But, but that's that, 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 but that, 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 that's yeah. another um, that's another um, um, that's another <laughs> that talking point. Okay. You know, when you look at if you have followed the recent games of Fenimba, mm -hmm. John Noble yes. has not been keeping. Mm -hmm. A lot of looking yeah. Joe, that's who they bought in the <laughs> summer, has been keeping. So mm -hmm. I think. Um, that's one of the arguments I had against Raw. He had a fixated mindset that if you have been part of the national team, whether you are playing or not, since you have, you have felt um, the spirit, the camaraderie in camp, then uh, he likes to reward loyalty. So I, I don't really support that. He mm. gets players who are currently playing for their clubs. He is not, it's not a regular in the Yimba hmm. at, at the moment. Mm -hmm. so, but maybe they felt that this guy has been with the with top the stars. Up. The, he may not, if you are bringing a new goalkeeper from the local league, he may not have, so, he could ha develop inferiority complex. I don't know. You know but, yeah. but that has happened in the past, really. Yeah. It has happened in the past that uh, they invited top goalkeepers from the lo local league, but when they got to the national team, they developed, not that they are not good, good okay. but they developed uh, inferiority complex and that affected their performance. Maybe that's the reason, but if you are going to use current form of a player who is playing for his team, mm. Then it shouldn't be John. Then it should be Olorun Leke. Then Olorun Leke Ojo is keeping mm -hmm. for uh, yeah. for He yeah. kept during the uh, CAF Confederation Cup. Mm -hmm. Look at their list; it's there. Is there? Yeah, it's always been regular. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's go, go to, to the defense. Defense, yeah. right? Okay, you have Chigoze or Wanzem, of course. Chigoze, uh, Chigoze, or Wanzem, regular. Kenneth Omeru, you talked about him. Leon Balogun, you talked about him. William Tristekon, of course, you've talked about oh, him yeah. also. Ola Ino is here. Jamil Collins, Sheo Abdullahi, Zaidu Sanusi. I think, so we, these are the, I think we pretty yeah. much uh, handled the defense already, so, right? Yeah. Before, yeah. yeah. So let's just go to the midfield. midfield. I mean, you, you mentioned Kelechi Wankali. I mean, he's given a chance. But Chidara, Ejuke, Frank Oyinka, Joe Aribo, we're friends mm -hmm. today. We are cool with this. Outside Kelechi Wankali, there's a little bit of question mark on him. Mm -hmm. On Kelechi Wankali? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the last time we went to the World Cup, yeah. you know, there was a game against Atletico Madrid organized um, here in Nigeria, you know, to... Um, to look at um, some of the players not in the national team. Kelechi Wakali did so well, and everybody was saying this guy should be in the national team. Mm -hmm. And that was some of the arguments against Ron that he has a fixated mindset. Okay. But like I said, Silly uh, and Tyon, some people say he's slow. You know, but you need to give him the time, the chance in the national team to come and prove whether he can fit in or not. No, no. We have seen players who are not too fast, but with the ball, they can be very devastating. So it's it now left for the coach to fast, make up okay to make up for his shortcoming. If the guy is so cool, he's so good, so brilliant with the ball, we have seen Bernardo Silva, we have seen a lot of very talented players, but without not the ball, the they, they, are not, they are not able. But when they have the ball, they can destroy any opposition. So it's not left for the coach to decide if I'm going to cope with the shortcomings, if this guy's strength is much more you know, valuable to the team than his shortcomings. Well, you think he's going to play because we don't have much midfielders. Because no. it's not about inviting, about having the player having the opportunity to play. You know, you know the, the, the fact of the case is that um, we need <coughs> supplies to the strikers. Yes. So that's where Kelechi Wankali, he can pick strikers. He can with very accurate passes. You know, so that's, that has been lacking. You know, when you have watched some games in the past, 
Onrach is always isolated. Yes. Sometimes Victor Isimi is just a fighter. Yeah. He, he fights hustles. for the ball. He hustles. <laughs> if, 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 if not, he would have also been isolated. So we need a midfielder that can trace where the players, that can you know, look at the runs of the strikers and give them the ball know where to give them the ball. And yeah. this guy fits into that build. Okay. It will be very interesting to see, yeah. but it's yeah. very unlikely uh, to see uh, if Kelechi if, if comes going to make... into the yeah, team and that's, starts that's playing. It's very yeah. unlikely. You know, sometimes, I mean, sometimes... It will be a major surprise. Yeah. It will yeah. be like a joker if we see the Super Eagles line up in the first game and there's a Kelechi and Wakali inside. No, it depends on the numbers of defenders you want to use. Because right here, we, they're not much. We just have five. If we want to use uh, four midfielders. The numbers of midfielders are going to use and numbers of defenders we will want to use. Yeah, well, we know the regular uh, <laughs> usual suspects, uh, Wilfred and Joe Ari. Joe Ari well, also then, uh, that, um, Frank is becoming... I also consider that there's Frank a, a new sheriff in town. Yes. Yeah, so he sure. might, might want to make some changes. Exactly. We so that's what I'm Because I mean, we usually, I mean, we, we're used to uh, getting from playing just three midfielders in some his most games. Sometimes two. Mm -hmm. We were used to him playing in that way. Maybe Austin Egwavoin may want to go... A different formation. Play, different formation. Yeah. Have more midfielders. Have the, the typical Egwavoin's yeah. formation could be 4-4-2. Four, 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 right, yeah. exactly. 4-4-2. Yeah. <laughs> <Four, four, four. laughs> <laughs> we'll see if it's crossed. So the forwards, right? Uh, so we'll yeah, wrap up with that one. So we'll go yeah. to the forward. Ahmed Musa, of course, is there. And there have been talks about Ahmed Musa. What's he doing? Is it the same Ahmed Musa you have in 2018 mm -hmm. that you're having now? Well, Ahmed Musa is there. Samir Chiko is there. Victor Osime. Moses Simon. He had tie. Uh, Taiwo Awoniyi, I mean mm. Sadiq Umar, Odio Ingalo, Alex Iwobi, Kelechi Enacho, and Emmanuel Dennis, yes, my best striker <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll see me, yes, the love is still there, but Emmanuel Dennis, I mean, you, you, you can, you, I mean, just imagine having Emmanuel Dennis and, and um, Victor Osime, mm. you know, at in the 4 4 two formation. In the 4 4 two formation, yeah. Yeah, I, th I think. Um, sounds, uh, yeah. Sounds, you so it's good. It sounds it interesting. good on paper. <laughs> yeah, very, very, very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you have two fighters up front. But, Even when the balls are not coming, they know where to get it and yeah. give you the goals. Yeah, I, I think that that's what has been lacking for some time. Um, okay. Some of um, strikers are not are not hustlers, and Usime has given us so many, you know, things to 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 smile about. Mm. Um, with Emmanuel Dennis, he's also on top of his game yeah. at the Premier League. He he has shown that um, his past experience was just a mistake, you know. You know, he from from Belgium. He went to Cologne, and he didn't really hit it. Very, very a lot well. of talks about his yeah. uh, disciplinary. Yes, yes. So, so you but know, you know, that's that, that's what we so. always talk about. Sometimes the coaching, how the coach is able to manage the ego, the attitudes of some of these uh, players. So, but thankfully, his 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 skills is. Um, his talents, speaking. really not in doubt. Yeah, really speaking, speaking for him. Yeah, yeah, speaking for him indeed. And uh, so, um, for still on the forwards. Uh, uh, some people wondering why the likes of Cyril Dersers and uh, I mean I've, I've seen that name come up a lot since the list uh, came out. Uh, uh, are you surprised that he's not been called up? I'm not surprised at all because he's not been a part of the setup for a while now. Yeah, I'm not surprised. You know, it's, even though he seems to be playing. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's gone to Feyenoord and yeah. he's um, rediscovered his form. Yeah. Uh, he, he, the issue is that he has always been under the shadow of some strikers in the team, and you know he he used to be. In, we turned right at um, at Genk. Uh, he didn't had he didn't have a playing time. Mm. And when you look at the strikers that um, Egwavon has list, uh, yeah. have listed, there is really no play, player there that um, Cyril Dessas can yeah. display. Not even Sadiq Kumar. Oh, Sadiq Kumar has been quite brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, yeah. in, in I mean, lower he, division. He, he had offers to go to the La Liga, but. You know, the Ameria put a lot of money on him because they, they are also ambitious of know. going back to the La Liga. And um, he, ha he, has, he has proved this what they, they spent so much on him to get him for partisan Belgrade. Mm -hmm. And this, this striker has, you know, has justified okay. all the huge investments. So I, I think it's high time that Sadio Kumar got his invitation and right to the two. Okay. And the times is that the opportunity to be invited. Something at, the last, always... at the Brazil um, mm -hmm. Olympic Games in uh, 2014. Yeah, I remember. He him. was a top striker for I Nigeria. Him. So, I remember. Uh, and, and he brings a different dimension to the game. Um, he's he's a, a penalty box striker. He's a target man. Yeah, he's a target man. But we have very uh, tall. We have uh, target man, target man in the team already. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but, but, but you know, some of these strikers too, they have they have their um, strengths and weaknesses. Some yeah, true. like to go through the wings. Some uh, box to, uh, I mean, the penalty box strikers, but Sadiq Kumar, very tall, as tall, almost as tall as uh, Paul Onwachi. Onwachi is a bit yeah. taller. So if you have these options in 
Of it course. Then, then it means you can call up any player at any Indeed. time and you deliver. You're so right. And it's not a bad season. Uh, eight mm -hmm. goals and seven, seven. assists uh, mm -hmm. in La Liga 2. Pretty decent. Yeah. So, very, very decent. decent. Yeah. Very consistent. Mm. Okay. Another question I want to ask is if, for instance, maybe uh, any major issue should happen uh, where Victor Sime is not allowed to play mm. for... There, Nigeria, is, there is that what very the lawyer situation is saying, there. Yeah. You know, that he's not fully recovered and all the talks about he may not be able to allow to come. Do we have enough strikers right here to be able to give us that uh, of trophy? Because that's what the Supreme Court is saying. Yeah, I think so. But the, but the news is that um, Victor Simmons in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he mm -hmm. was spotted at uh, Campus Stadium yesterday to support Aziza to show last initiative. So yeah. I think the player wants to play. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's, yeah, there's no doubt about that. that. Yeah, he wants, he wants the, the, the club and, is not and, him. Yeah, the, 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 I think the club is just trying to use every available means legal to stop him. But they know that the player wants to play for Nigeria. And that's why they are trying to use legal means. Um, some players will have been afraid, maybe scared of coming. Um, also considering what happened to some players in the past, not listening to their club and mm -hmm. going to the national team, eventually anything happened and they, they lose goals. their place. But yeah. they know that this, this, this lad is, has a strong character and they can't stop him. And in the Napoli squad now, even after the National Cup, if he comes back, they, they, they are bound to use him. Because he's their best striker. He's doing well. Yeah. And also, now, and and I, I think Vito Osimhen is a model for African players. Mm. When you get to Europe, strive as much as possible to, to prove your, 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 your what. Mm. Play so make, well. Make a mark. Yeah. And, and, and dictate, the, dictate your terms. Exactly. Yeah. So, so he's in Nigeria. He has yeah. told Nigeria that he wants to play. Mm. And he's good to go. And, you know, sometimes you own your okay. body. You feel your body. Yeah. And as a professional, yeah. your body will, will tell you if okay. you are good to go. So... Right. Let's see how it goes. But Napoli, obviously, you don't, you don't blame them. <laughs> okay. They have spent so much on this player, yeah. and they want, to, they want the player to, you know, so also mm -hmm. play for them. The benefit. All right, That's we safe. need to go on a break. When we come back, we'll be reading some mails and also talk about EPL. And, of course, Austin O'Connor is on standby to join us. Welcome back. Time to read some of your mails. See how many I can read before we move on on the show. Mm -hmm. This one is coming from Daniel Adeni. He says, I'm impressed with the list, but I think we should be more focused on teamwork than what they play during qualifiers. Because if we are meeting Egypt, we have to up our games. So That's an interesting one. Interesting indeed. Mm -hmm. We also got one from yeah. uh, SD uh, Nagudu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nagudu says, uh, I'm very much satisfied with the list. With the inclusion of Awoni, Sudhir Kumar, Dennis, Wankali, Chidera, AJK, aka the new Okocha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. And also, Igalo, we have a competitive and completed squad that can do better at the Nations Cup. I'm wishing them good and successful outing. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I think it's actually to you, line. We've got enough. <laughs> to win the Nations Cup. Yes, that's what we want, win the Nations Cup. Yeah. That's what everyone is looking forward to. Hopefully, at the end of uh, at the end of the, how many, this 63, how many games, 53 games, right? Mm -hmm. So at the end of that, we should be able to come back home with a trophy. No pressure. Well, I think we should be modest in our expectations. Too. Indeed. You okay. got to, yeah. have to yeah. consider modest, the, right? yeah. the situation. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, guys. Okay, we'll yes. leave the Super Eagles for now because well, can still, yeah. they can still keep sending emails. You can still keep sending your emails, yeah. of course. We'll, we'll try to read all of them before we end the show. But this is not going to be all about the Super Eagles show, you know that. Mm. So we'll be going to this is a story that broke out some time ago concerning Tesla Malomo Stadium. Yes, the Super Eagles will be using the National Stadium Abuja. That's the MQ Abiola Stadium. Is that's where they will be, uh, that's where they will use officially, home. you know, official home right now. Mm. So, we'll not have the Super Eagles in Lagos this summer. So, Lagosians, you have opportunity to watch them train for Ofcon, but then those in Abuja will have the opportunity to do that. But then, the story that broke out some time ago concerning the fact that Tesla Malogu Stadium has been banned, where there's a clarification coming from the Lagos State Sports Commission chairman. Let's listen to him. 
It's just very funny, you know. I think people are just trying to be trying to play games. Um, um, that letter was gotten, I think, before the last two matches that we hosted, and that letter comprised of a list of things that um, that is an attachment that the, a, a list of things we are supposed to do prior to those matches being played. Nigeria was never banned. Testing was never banned. Never. They just gave us a list. And when they came, by the next match, we had an, an approval for the next match and the next match. So somebody now coming up uh, without going to details or, uh, or explaining what the letter was all about since October 17. October 17. And they're saying it now that Teslim is banned. Teslim has never been banned by CAF. And Teslim is... And, and, and again, I've invited journalists to... Let's go to Teslim. If you have that report, take your report. And I don't have to be with you. Go and check what you see at the facility and tell whether it, 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 uh, it, uh, it doesn't fulfill the requirements by CAF. The only thing outstanding that the, the um, person doesn't have, which most African nations don't have, is the VAR. And we're already working on it to ensure that it's ready before the next match, you know, the final match, if we are allowed to host it. But if there's, if there's any doubt about the team not being uh, adequate for, uh, according to CAF or FIFA standards, it's a lie. We are ready, and there's only VR that we have to put in place. And, and, and we've seen each other at those matches. I mean, the, the, facilities, the, the facilities speak for themselves. Um, the, uh, the, the government, uh, the Mr. Governor, invested so much money into this uh, to make sure that it, it meets standards. And that's why we've been hosting. If we're not, if, if we're not up to those standards, we will not host any match. Yeah, I mean, it clarified everything right there. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the World Cup qualifiers, as the playoff that will be played in March, will be, I mean, stadium listed is Abuja and also the EU stadium. Lagos is not listed. Not that if it's been banned, but because, of course, they want Super Eagles to try another home, and Abuja is likely going to be the new home because the MQ Abiola Stadium has been refurbished. So they want the Eagles to play there. I know you, of course, used to be the favorite place for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Spoken with some of the players, and they love to be in you. Maybe it's the environment, maybe it's the hotels, but I really don't know why they love that stadium so much. Or maybe it's a lost pitch or something. I don't know. But I think, then, I think to it's... all of them that I've spoken with, most of them actually prefer playing in New York. Maybe because no pressure from fans, that could also be another reason why they always prefer that home ground. Yeah, you know, Cecilia, these players are um, based in Europe. Yeah. And uh, if, if you have seen the typical you know, ambience of where they come, they always, they always like to stay in uh, the countryside where there will be no distraction. In mm. fact, you don't see moving vehicles. All yes. you see are trees and bicycles, you know, just to enjoy the natural surroundings. So I think these players love you because of that. Apart from the large green pitch, the, the surroundings, the natural okay. setting okay. of this, the hotel and environment you know, is so captivating and it, it helps concentration. So that's okay. why they love And I also heard that, that that's, I'd heard from privileged sources that uh, the stadium on Oyo is sparkling clean. That's, you know, <laughs> they, they are comfortable with all the facilities there. You know, so sometimes we need to, you know, the, the, the details yeah. are very important. Mm -hmm. That's why the Europeans are always, you know, ahead of us. They take care of the details, the pitch, the facilities, the convenience. Everything is always spot on mm -hmm. for the players. So I think that's why, maybe when they try the Abuja Stadium, for some of them that have not play, play played there, at Abuja yeah. Stadium, they, they could also begin to get used to the situation mm -hmm. there. All right. All right, but Abuja is not as quiet as you. I think uh, that countryside, I think that must be the reason. Yeah. I'm trying to think, why do they just love that environment? Would they listen to them? Would they prefer, like, if maybe, like, maybe, like, 20 of the players are saying, look, we really want to be in the new. Yeah, but, 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 but sometimes the players are critical. So if, if I wear in the shoes of uh, the NFL officials, I will yeah. listen to the players because the players will give you the results. So, but when you impose a venue on them, they may not have any reason not to say no, but, they, you know, they'll just be grumbling, and that will not help, help their that. performance. Mm, yeah, but they, like you said, uh, uh, they don't have the, uh, how do I put it now? They, they it's, can't, it's not in their power. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. they, they don't dictate uh, yeah. where they want. I mean, oh, that's normally like. shouldn't be that way. But <laughs> we'll see. The NFF says it's, or the right. sports ministry mm -hmm. says it's Abuja, then it's got to be Abuja. All right. We'll see. All right, guys, uh, let's get on with the show. And um, we're still talking football. March day two of the Nigeria Professional Football League. Cecilia, Aimba, Remo Stars, still. Perfect record. Okay, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Indeed. Perfect. Two mm. games, right? Too early to say. But then when you win your first two games, 
away from home and also at home, home. it shows you're not coming to the MPFL to play. Nope. Now, Shooting Stars and Aqua United, another team yet to lose, but then Shooting Stars, their first game was goalless. I think we were talking to Jide on mm. Friday that if you go away from home and you, you, your game is goalless, you couldn't score goals. So coming home, you may not have so much confidence to go into that game, knowing that the champions are coming to town. So that's exactly what happened. Yes, one, one. <laughs> that's oh, ended one, one. So uh, Aqua United got a, uh, a point from there. The game between Pillars and Lobby Stars was surprised ended goalless. Ramos Stars and Heartland, 3-0. Oh. Ramos Stars perfect record. Rivers United and Katsina. Rivers United just running it over Katsina. Katsina losing at home, losing away. Rangers and Aimba. Rangers winning at the away. That's the big game for us for today. Other games you have... Uh, Okay, you have other games. Uh, Wicked Taurus and Niger Tenders ended 1 0 in favor of Wicked Taurus. Nassau United and Gombe, that ended 1 all. It was a draw. Dakada, MFM, where MFM still can't get a win. It's just two games into the season anyway. Uh, 2 0 in favor of Dakada FC. And Platy United got one a win over Quara United. In which, which one will get you talking here? Abia Warriors also got one in win over Sunshine. Uh, just one in Nova Sunshine Stars of Akure. Of course, Rangers and Aimba. Yeah, that, that's, that should be the biggest feature of the, of the, the, the weekend. Mm. Um, Aimba, the true story is that five, in five matches, they have not lost under Affinity George. Wow. In the Confederations Cup, um, they played three games. Unfortunately, due to um, some issues that, um, that uh, came up, they, they were not able to advance because CAF has already, already released yeah. the fixtures for the group stages. Mm. For Mayimba, um, five matches, they have won. Wow. And Finidi. What is, a start is Yeah, uh, what a career. start. And it was a late minute goal against Rangers in Newe. No, Rangers adopted the Newe uh, as the, their home ground because the Nam Dazikwe Stadium is undergoing renovation. So for Mayimba, roller coaster start for them this season. And they are really enjoying the advantage of playing more matches than the other teams. Mm -hmm. You know, playing three matches on the continent it's also it has given them the edge mm. above other teams that um, are Fit, just playing fitness two wise, right. fitness wise right. preparations and uh, all that mm. then in a bad on i was talking to somebody that watched aqua united uh, some of the preseason tournament in abuja that's the president cup and the person told me that what he saw of aqua united at the mk abela stadium in abuja was brilliant mm. and you know they were saying if this, some of these teams that are, you know, that play free-flowing football, you see, play on a very good pitch yeah. and good officiating, they are likely to do. And that was happened in the bottom yesterday. They went ahead and shooting stars had to rally around mm. to equalize, to save the blushes of the fans and at least <laughs> get something <laughs> out of it. They now have, in two matches, they have two points, not too good for, the, for shooting stars. Let's see what happens in the midweek. Mm -hmm. But for Aqua United, they would have fancied their chances of getting the three points. Yeah. But at the bottom, the support... <laughs> and the pressure to score will also you know, be in favor of uh, Shooting Stars uh, Sports Club. They are yeah. Red Monsters. Red Monsters. Talk about Red Monsters. You know, yes. Red Monsters. <laughs> Returning. They, they, they came to, they came to, to Lagos. Lagos, got a 2 0 victory. We thought it was a fluke because yeah. of the distance. Yeah. Now they're playing a top team like Heartland. Atlant. Yeah. Atlant. In, are they, in two are, minutes, are they a top side? Yeah, they, they, right they, now? they used to I be. Mean, not, I mean, not they now. used to be. Okay. Okay. <laughs> pedigree. Okay. It's third degree. Yeah. You know, so. They, in two minutes, they were already two goals. Up. It was shocking. <laughs> okay. Everybody was, what, what is happening here? And they thought that Heartland could, you know, do we'll something in the second half. But yeah. it they was not to be. More. They added one more. Mm. I think that player that scored the two goals, okay. And they have a certain player, Skudus, mm -hmm. who is also very pivotal in, in the midfield. Yeah. You know, some of these are some of the players mm. to look out for. In it, so, mm. okay. Um, Benga Ogubote, yeah. I, I have listened to him a lot, uh, talk a lot about this uh, Remos uh, side, how... Uh, the young side and pretty much <laughs> trying to reduce any kind of expectations okay. uh, and, and, and pressure. Uh, uh, but after two games, five goals caught, none mm. considered, six points. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're looking and, good. And looking he, good. He, he, you know, Benga <laughs> Gubote is very experienced. Yes. Yeah. He, he, he doesn't want to put his players under pressure Unnecessary. because he knows that you still have about 36 games to mm. play. It's a long stretch. Season, yeah. uh, so he's, he's, he's very experienced. He knows that this is just the beginning. Yeah. And now that um, they are doing so well, teams will not put them under spotlight. Mm. We like to get their videos, watch their strengths and weaknesses and try. So he's telling the players not to get complacent. That this is just the beginning. Which makes sense. Yeah, yeah because they've just gone to Lagos and played at home. 
they are still going to go far. Of course. In the far north, go to Gombe, go to Katsina, uh, go to play against Canopilas in Katsina. Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a lot of games mm -hmm. to play. So you need concentration. And that's, mm -hmm. that's exactly what he's doing. He's doing. Yeah. Makes, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, but it helps if you win your first two games of the season as a newly promoted side. They are scoring so, so many goals Confidence. and they are not conceding. So it exactly. shows that while they are attacking, they are also very, very solid at the back. Mm -hmm. All right, then, guys. Then, uh, Rivers, Rivers United, uh, uh, Cecilia and Tayo, we also talk about a certain player, yeah. Ishak uh, Coyote. Okay. You know, they bought from Shooting Stars. This guy was their top scorer in the CAF Confederations Cup. Okay. And he's also scoring. He's very consistent. Mm. And so he's, he's, a, he's a player also to, to look out for, for in okay. uh, uh, Rivers United. Indeed. Mm. How many goals did he get against uh, Katsina? He scored, uh, I think he scored a brace. A brace? Wow. Yeah. He scored a brace. That's interesting. Mm. Nice. All right. So we're living in Nigeria professional football mm -hmm. league now. And of course, we got uh, your email, Henny Uwaila, talking about the Super Eagles. He says, I was a bit disappointed that Sheo, Igalo, and Nobu were included mm -hmm. in this list. We have better technical players like Taryn Eboe, mm -hmm. Apoguma, and Sirio Dessers. <laughs> I think this list is a crackdown on some of our foreign born players who are fully Nigerians, mm -hmm. by the way. I hope Nigeria do well and qualify for the World Cup. But then, there is no justification for dropping players playing in better leagues and clubs than those three included. The goalkeeper, Noble, is not even the first choice for Ayimba. Yes, uh, he has talked about that. Absolutely. But Tyron Eboe, you've mentioned uh, the reason why Boguma and Siri just are not there. But Tyron Eboe's exclusion. I, I, really, I really cannot explain that because yeah. Ty, Eboe was, um, went to the World Cup uh, with Nigeria yes. in Russia. And... Um, so I think two seasons ago, he was injured. Ter he had a, terrible injury. Yeah, terrible injury. Yeah. In fact, um, there were doubts whether he's going to return or not. Mm. But, you know, he showed a lot of character. He worked hard and he came back and he's, he's, he's he very regular for his um, club. Uh, so, so, so sometimes players, maybe Guavon has looked at um, a lot of factors. I don't want to say he's a good player, no doubt yes. about that. But sometimes all the players cannot be included. Yes. That's yeah. it. There's no perfect list. That's yeah. what, how you All start the players it. cannot yeah. be included. So, he, he also said something about uh, the list being a crap down on foreign. You don't think, think that's Because um, no, no. there's still so many of them on this list. I don't think so. Mm. Don't, you, know, you know, people have different interpretations to everything. Yes. So, mm. that's his entitled to his opinion. Yeah, maybe absolutely. that's the angle he, he's saying it from. But I don't think so. Like you said, William Truss Ekong, um, Leon Balogun, even Calvin mm. Bassi. Yeah. You know, who was also not included, yeah. was also part of the team before. So I don't think any right thinking coach will, 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 will exclude a player based on, based on where he was born. No, no, no. I don't no, think, no, no. think everyone no. was Because, uh, I mean, how many sense. players can you have? You yeah. just need 28. For, for, we must so realize that there's between now and the next one, how many days? Mm. And these players are coming to camp on the 29th. Yeah. Uh, from 29th to the 3rd of January, when the uh, English uh, Premier League players will arrive, you just have about. Four or five days. So mm -hmm. the coach cannot yeah, do it. Right. Yeah. So I think that's why he's bringing those who have been playing regularly for the Super Eagles. So uh, cohesion will not be a problem that's true. for him. For Tyron, okay. he's still young. I mean, mm -hmm. 26 uh, plays in Syria at the moment. So uh, if he continues to play well for Venezia, uh, eventually he will get a uh, look in and uh, uh, perhaps uh, take his opportunity. I think so. Uh, this when time he gets around. it. Yeah. All right. So, Let's go to the Premier League, Cecilia. Yeah. Touchdown there, just mm. um, starting. games starting with the big one, which oh, yeah. was the thriller. Leicester, game. of course, it was always going to be Manchester City and Leicester City mm. to headline the Boxing Day game. I mean, fans and football lovers really were treated treated oh, to a lot, lot of goals. That Etihad was well, nine goals, and of course, the Norwich uh, Arsenal put five past Norwich and uh, Tottenham three nil over Crystal Palace. And of course, the game between West Ham and uh, Southampton so. that game ended. Uh, three two, so, and of course that's another five goals. Of yeah. course for Chelsea, well, good one you were saying. Chelsea, Chelsea against three Aston, one Villa, over Aston Villa, three one, that's another victory. four goals again. Mm -hmm. And of course Brighton and Brentford, Sunil, lots and lots of goals on Boxing Day. But yeah. our focus will start with the Leicester, yeah. Leicester and the Manchester City. City. I'm happy that Kalechi and Acho is correct. Yes, that's what I'm taking well, away well, from oh the yeah, game. Game. Game now. Lost scandalous way but then we're talking about how it was a, <laughs> as a, as a thriller on boxing day but first 25 minutes it was four nil in favor of city and a lot of people just, nah, just went away like i'm not watching this again <laughs> you know but something happened in the, in the first half we don't know what uh obviously uh brandon rogers has made a, a few, uh, <laughs> tweaks 
and Leicester came out firing yeah. in the second half, and they scored three goals as well in about ten minutes. Ten minutes. Like, yeah, game on. Yeah, and that, that's the English Premier League. And um, for a coach, <laughs> I mean, if you are losing for the you, you, you're already down. You're down. So I, 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 I reckon that Brendan Rodgers will tell his Manchester players to go out and get goals. You're already 4 0 down. So there's, it, can, it, can, to lose. it can't be worse than that. <laughs> no. So, so you, you go up. Are, are, you, are you going to show up? Are you, you going yeah, to defend? Yeah, you, you could do damage limitation. No, no, no. What was there to do? What was there to defend? They didn't want to be so, a Manchester so United. Probably the damage them. is done already. Yeah. It's done already. So you probably have them last. You have to go there and, you know, redeem your image. Go there and get. and. Thankfully, Kelechi Han uh, created a record yesterday. I think he became the third English player to score an assist in a, in a, in a, in a single game. Yeah. You know, he got, an, he got two assists and two he scored. Assists, so, yeah. uh, yeah, cool. I think James Miller and one other player, uh, the, 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 the two other players that have achieved this yeah. record. So uh, that, that's, that's the intriguing thing about the Premier League. You can't really say <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's over. over. It's over. So Until everybody who watched that game will be nah. saying, wow, it's... what a game of football. Nice yeah. goal thriller. Mm. And for um, Guardiola on his side, I mean, what, what else can we say? Nine wins in a row. In now. a row. It's so, ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, it's when they go on this kind of run, right. then you start to really worry for the other side. Sometimes sides. they start very badly. They did this season, yeah. losing their first game. Mm -hmm. Everybody was saying, uh, what's happening? Yeah. But yeah. Nah. immediately they started with the scoring, winning yeah. games. It was not They're like a, a juggernaut. Yeah. And the goals they're scoring, just look at their last uh, three ah, games. I mean, the numbers of goals they've scored in their last three games. It's something you look at. Seven, there was a seven. There was a five. Six plus goals, goals. in consecutive home games. Uh, that's, 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 seven that's against ridiculous. Leeds. Uh. And six points clear right now at the yeah. top of the table. Yes, Liverpool have got a game in hand. But what's the possibility that Liverpool will get that game? Yeah. With Sadio Mane and, of course, Mo Salah, who will be leaving mm. <laughs> Liverpool and coming to play for the Nations Cup. I think it's going to be a whole lot. Yeah. Yes. We'll, we'll, we'll see. see. All right, we're leaving. We need to go on a break. So when we come back, we'll listen to Pep Guardiola talking about that game. Typical maybe Boxing Day with a lot of goals. So uh, yeah, for this for everyone it was a entertainment game. So and uh, yeah, another victory. So important to continue our run and yeah, rest and go to the. In three days, another game. We know Leicester is so good in the in the last years. Always struggle. Even the last six Premier League games, we won five. Always have been so difficult because they, they are really good, exceptional manager. So how clever he was to change the shape and, and in that situation, yeah, we we struggle a little bit when we lose the ball. But uh, in general, the game was really good, especially in the half, the half the first half, of course when we score four and we could score more, much more. <laughs> you could have scored more, right? More, I mean, meaning 10. Come on, Pep, it's Christmas, so you don't have to do that to your opponent. But the good news is the fact that um, Leicester were able to score at least three in 10 minutes, so it shows that they can be able to get some stats of that. But they lost. Yeah, yeah, I just keep it up, OK? Next game, hopefully, can score, score more. I mean, it's the worst time, Pep, um, uh, Brendan Rodgers, being as a manager, because mm. this is not the time you really want to be at so losing at the conference. They're now in conference league, right? From Europe League to conference. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they wouldn't even want to play that. Let's quickly talk about Chelsea before we move to the NBA. Chelsea, of course, came from a go down to win. It was Reese James who scored the own goal first, but he recovered from that. Steven Gerrard wasn't there because, I mean, he, he, he positive for COVID-19 because of that. Uh, two games is going to be out, so the assistant coach was there. And, you know, when that own goal came and you could see the, the, the reaction, judging, of course. Ten penalties. Uh, this guy is just... Took over. I mean, it's, it's remarkable. And Lukaku also scoring. I believe Chelsea fans who have been talking, it was a bad buy or whatever, no, will start admiring him now. He's been injured on his back and then he's scoring again. Chelsea, Villa, I mean, Lukaku inspiring their comeback. Yeah, I, I listened to his Lukaku's interview after yeah. the game, and um, from his body language, it was obvious he was ready to play, but Thomas Tuchel, you know, as a coach, will decide when to play you. Exactly. You are not ready, you need time, and what's the, what, what a moment for him yeah. to uh, come on and s score those goals. Inspired, I mean, the, the, his movement on and off the ball inspired yeah. that cross from uh, Arsenal Doyle, and the, the header was uh, brilliant. 
you know, it was inch, inch perfect, and the goalkeeper had no had no option that to stay rooted, yeah. and the 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 penalty. The the penalty. Yeah. When when it, when it was on the move, it was unstoppable. The, the the defender tried to stop it and fell <laughs> down, and you had to bring him back. And uh, I mean, his his addition is quite you know quite um, valuable Very for, Chelsea, for Chelsea, especially for a team that, that yes. drawn two games. You know, when he was coming in, you could see the body language of Aston Villa fans, and I mean, the, even the players. Uh, this 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 guy is coming to you know bully us again, and he, he really justified his inclusion. <laughs> he bullied everyone. Yeah. Nine goals in ten Premier League games now against Aston Villa. They must be very, very sick of the sight. No, yeah. you don't want to see but, I, but, I, but again, you know, his, his critics will say this guy does no. not score against the big teams, yeah. blah, 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 and all that. But That's already over, I think. Yeah. <laughs> That's over. He's proven everyone wrong. Exactly. Okay, Ty, before we go, quickly yeah. touch down on the NBA. Yeah, NBA. all the big games were on Christmas Day, so... But, all the big games were on Christmas Day, but then the games for uh, early hours of this morning were just some other games. But then we have all the results for you. Tyo, yeah. Joel Embiid, the main 36 point, 13, and some success winning against the Wizards. Indeed, uh, we have uh, eight uh, games, games. That played in the NBA. These are the results of four years, starting with the Miami Heat uh, defeating uh, the Orlando Magic 93 to 83. Gabe Vincent with 13 points in the victory. Okay, and of course, all the games you have there, the Raptors and the Cavs, it was 99-1-44. Uh, Kevin Love and Darius Garland scoring 22 points each, and Cleveland were able to tie their franchise record with 46 points in the third quarter. Then, of course, we know Toronto Raptors, this side is really depleted because of the health and safety protocol of the NBA. Uh, some success on the Wizards, I talked about that one earlier. Joel Embiid having 36 points and 30 rebounds on the spot with Montreal Harris. And of course, you also have Tobias, uh, both of them having a, Tobias Harris having 23 points. And Philadelphia Seven Sisters were able to get that victory for Grizzlies and Sacramento Kings. Desmond Bain scoring 28 points. And the Memphis defeated the Kings by 127 and 102. That is the second time in 10 days. The Pelicans. And of course, the Thunder tire take that yes, away. Yes, 117 to 112 in favor of OKC. Shire Gilgis Alexander with 31 points in that victory for the Thunder. The Spurs were absolutely ruthless against uh, the <laughs> Detroit Pistons. 144 to 109. That was the highest scoring game of the season for San Antonio Spurs. The Bulls won three in a row with a 113 victory. 113 to 105 victory over the Indiana Pacers. Zach Levin with 32 points in that particular victory. In his return from the NBA's health and safety protocols, the uh, Clippers and the Nuggets uh, in our last game. What a game that was. Uh, very interesting. 103 yeah. to 100 in favor of Denver. Nikola Jokic with 22 points and 22 rebounds in that game. They almost wasted a 17 mm -hmm. point lead but he managed uh, to get a three-point victory at the end of it all Jokic also adding eight assists becoming the first player to record 25 plus points 20 plus rebounds and five plus assists in consecutive games since charles barkley in 1988 all right guys so that's it uh, for uh the nba uh let's uh oh, okay standout performers mm -hmm. let's take a look at the uh, top performers uh, for the size uh, and the games played in the NBA this morning, starting with Joel Embiid, the Cameroonian uh, center, with 36 points, 13 rebounds, and just one assist uh, uh, for the Philadelphia 76ers in their victory over the Washington Wizards. Next up is Shia Gilgis Alexander of the OKC Thunder, 31, 4, and 5. And last but not the least is Zach Levine mm -hmm. of the Chicago Bulls, 32, 4, and five in their victory over the Indiana Pacers. All right, that's okay. it for the NBA. Okay. Uh, just look at, okay, we'll take a look at the papers right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, yes, I'm going to start off with Sporting Life. Yes. Yeah. You know the reason why? Because it's, it's right. right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sporting Life right here. FIFA clears into the Salamani others. Players get one week extension to remain with clubs until January 3rd. Mm. Okay, I thought because of the FIFA clearance, they're going to arrive earlier than January 3rd. <laughs> so it's still the same thing. It's still so what's the, same the clearance thing. about? You know, you know there, there was this um, issue between the FA and um, 
the, the, the clubs that they should arrive early, earlier than that, and mm. you know they needed an official um, uh, confirmation as to when mm. they will arrive. So the players will remain with their clubs. You know, it's a very dicey situation because these clubs also need their players. The players want to play for the national team, mm. so there could be always a compromise so that um, the two parties will not feel aggrieved. Mm. Okay, I, I, there was something I read about uh, Patrick Vieira talking about the fact that the African Cup of Nations will be taken as serious as the European Championships. What I'm picking out from there is clubs should respect that championship. Yes, we, that tournament, yes, we understand that is in January and February, which is at the peak of most of the clubs. But then, it's a big competition. So FIFA can actually write to these clubs to release players. I mean, you're talking about oh, January 3rd. This just got be starting in mind. Yeah, so you have like how many days? Just um, six days. Six days. Start so why, why not allow them to...